So Kingdom Animalia is one of the most advanced kingdoms of taxonomy. And on this kingdom, we have the different types of animals. So first of all, uh, we're going to study the characteristics. The characteristics of Kingdom Animalia. Uh, first of all, uh, one thing about animals is that they are multicellular they are multicellular and eukaryotic and when we say that uh, they are multicellular we mean that uh, they are made of multiple cells, many cells. They are eukaryotic in that their nucleus is bound within the nuclear membrane. Kingdom Animalia lack cellulose cell wall. They also lack chlorophyll, hence are heterotrophic, heterotrophic meaning that uh, they rely on already synthesized foods. So they do not make their own food, they rely on already synthesized food. So they are heterotrophic. They lack cellular cell wall or their cells lack a cellular cell wall. And we have also seen that uh, they are multicellular, many cells and eukaryotic. Uh, in terms of uh, a reproduction a reproduction is both sexual which is the main one and asexual so we have a few cases that have a sexual reproduction where we don't have the use of gametes Uh, also, the kingdom animalia, they have locomotion. They have locomotion, while a few are sessile. They have locomotion, or they can move from one point to another or they can dislocate they can uh, displace their body from one position to another so when they can displace the position of their entire body from one position to another then we say that they have locomotion as the type of movement but we have a few that are sessile sessile means that they are anchored on the substratum. That means that uh, they are not able to move from one position to the other because they are anchored on a, on a particular uh, substrate or on a particular substratum. <laughs>